Hello everybody and welcome to our check-in, our music summer series. This is part five, I believe. I am sitting on my porch. It's really uh, beautiful outside and I'm enjoying, <clears throat> excuse me, being out. So I had a, um, some songs I wanted to talk to you guys about today, or at least share some songs and then talk a little bit about them. And just when I was about to get ready to come out, uh, Mrs. Fiore had sent me some of her song ideas and I was like, yes, I want to do one of these. So I had to re kind of think about how I wanted to do today. So today might seem a little bit wacky, but um, I think the song choices are, are decent songs. So uh, let's start. So one of the songs that Mrs. Fiore had sent to me, it's called I Can See Clearly Now um, by Cliff Jimmy and Jimmy Cliff. At least that's what the lyrics say, but I always remember it as Jimmy Cliff. But, um, so I'm going to read some of the lyrics and then we'll talk about it. So here are the lyrics. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Oh yes, I can make it now the pain is gone. All of the bad feelings have disappeared. Here is that rainbow I've been praying for. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. So here's what I was thinking about this song. One, it always reminds me of like the beach. I don't know. It just has that vibe about it. But I've made videos in the past where I talk about people are always looking into the future and they're never living in the now. And the problem with not living in the now is that you don't get to experience the, the, the moments, those good moments that happen. So I'm going to give what might seem like counter advice uh, in this situation, but I think sometimes you have to kind of pick and choose um, what really works best for you. So I'm sure you've had opportunities or things in your life which have seemed challenging and difficult and hard, and you're just like, oh, it's just so miserable. You're like, it's not going to get any better. This is awful. And um, you know, you're not looking ahead. Now, I'm not telling you to not you know, when I say don't look ahead because you want to live in the now, I don't mean you shouldn't look ahead when you're talking about things getting better. Because if we just focus on all that negative and bad things that are happening, like think about this pandemic, right? Um, you know, it was mid-March, <clears throat> we got sent home, and we haven't been back to school since, now it's summer, and you know, things are slowly starting to open up, but it, it's just that you know, if you're always thinking that things are never going to improve, you feel very, you know, maybe anxious, depressed, upset or something, but you have to think of like, you know, things are going to get better. You're going to have that opportunity to hang out with your friends um, and do things. And you got to look at the bright side of things and try to find positives within all that negativity. Like the fact that I've lived in this house for almost five years and like I can say almost never have I sat on my porch and just kind of relax, like never. So this has given me the opportunity because we put chairs out here because we know we're gonna spend a lot of time in our front yard. So we put these chairs out so we can hang out. So here we are and um, you know, now I get to see all the people walk by with their dogs and I get to hear lawnmowers and weed whackers and I do enjoy that, except when I make it a video. Every time I make a video, that's when the lawnmowers come out. Okay, so let's move on. Another song that um, somebody had suggested was Pharrell Williams' Happy. And I like this song because it has a really good message. Now, I'm going to read one of the uh, parts of it. It says, It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here. You can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space with the air like I don't care, baby, by the way. Now, and it talks about how he, oops, sorry, how he's happy, right? He's just so happy. But this part I love. This is like, this is I think my favorite part of the whole song. It says, here comes bad news. Talking this and that, well, give me all you got and don't hold it back. Yeah, well, I should probably warn you, I'll just be fine. No offense to you, don't waste your time because I'm happy. And it goes on and on and on. And that's the thing, it's like, sometimes, and I've said this in past videos, when you're happy, there's always people around you sometimes that are just not happy and they just like to spread, you know, evil, you know, uh, what is it, Misery Likes Company and they try to ran your parade. Okay, so because if you're unhappy, it makes them feel good. So you have to just, if you're happy, be happy, right? You know, if you do things that make you happy, keep doing them. 
You know, don't let people kind of, you know, infringe on your right to be happy because, um, you know, there are people who want to be happy and you can lead by example, just the idea of just being positive. You know, when I think of the first song, you can see, you know, I can see clearly now. Um, and sometimes when you have that vision where like things are going to get better, you start to feel happier. And then when you're happy, happiness, I feel like spreads. You know, um, like when my, and I've said this past, like when my kids are happy in a good mood, I'm like in a good mood. When they're miserable and I, you know, then I feel like I get that way. So those are two songs I can see clearly now, okay, and uh, happy. So I wanted to split this up into kind of two parts, and I know it seems random, but um, I become more nostalgic. I don't know, I've been sitting here uh, at home and thinking about connections that I have with people because that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for connections. And usually during field day, you know, Mr. Zagorin will make barbecue, like pulled pork or whatever, it's delicious. And um, so I was thinking about it, like there's a group that Mr. Mason, uh, he used to work in our school, now he's a, an administrator in another district. Uh, but luckily, we, you know, we still get to chat and he's always recommending music to me, which I love because I always thought I'd be like one of those old people that just got stuck in the genre of music I grew up with and I'd never you know, change that, but um, he introduced me to a band called Old Crow Medicine Show, which unfortunately is broken up, and I'm kind of bummed because I was really hoping to see them at one point in concert. So there's all kinds of songs. I think probably their most famous song you might know is a song um, called, sorry, I'm like a little antsy, Wagon Wheel, uh, but that's not the song I want to talk about. The song I'm talking about is not really that famous, but I just, I don't know what it is, I just get in a good mood every time I hear it because I'm thinking about being happy and looking ahead and everything's awesome. And um, this song has brought back memories of two things. So it's called Mary's Kitchen, and uh, I'll put it in the link below. But it's all about this particular woman who has like a barbecue place and just everybody wants to go there. It doesn't matter where you are, where you're, what you are, it doesn't matter, you go there, their food is delicious. Um, and so when I, every time I hear the song, I think of one Mr. Zagorin because I know, you know, he's done like some barbecue competitions and um, his food that he makes is always delicious and it makes me crave barbecue every time I hear it. I feel like it's summertime, the grill's going to be going. Uh, I don't have a smoker, but I know my brother-in-law, he smokes uh, foods and all this other stuff and it's so good. But the other thing that this song, um, it's kind of the point of like when you hear some of these songs, it brings back memories. And a few years back, I had an opportunity to work with a friend of mine. Her name is Christine. Uh, this is a summer job. And I didn't know her. Like, you know, she was, she lives in Arizona. She's from Canada, but lives in Arizona. And um, I remember we, she got me, she dragged me out to go on this hike, which I really wouldn't classify it as a hike because there really wasn't anywhere to hike around where we were. But she hikes like ridiculous amounts. Um, I think I pulled muscles just watching her, looking at her pictures on Facebook. So, um, Needless to say, so one of the days we went, because we were in, I think in North or South Carolina, and we went to a barbecue place and they brought out like the whole gamut of food and it was just like incredible. And that song reminds me of that too because in that moment I got an opportunity to make a friendship, to make a relationship with somebody different and we still talk and she's super kind and caring and um, I feel like that's what food does. Food brings people together, right? You know, whether you're having a barbecue in your backyard or there's birthday parties or you go to a restaurant, uh, which now we're starting to open up, but you know, um, it's just something about food. There's a video, if I can find it, I might put it in the comments too, where everyone is like on their phones or everyone seems so busy. And this woman decides she's gonna put her dining room table in the hallway of an apartment complex. And then she literally gets everyone in the apartment complex on that floor to come out and the whole floor has dinner together. It's a very powerful video uh, just showing the power of food and how it brings people together. And I think, you know, having that opportunity to have that connection is great. So, and when I think about, you know, the fact that maybe we don't get to go out as much or maybe, you know, it's hard to see the future, right? To see the positive or to feel happy. There's the last two songs I want to talk about to kind of end this, and they're for two very different reasons. So, a former student had sent me, a, she's like, you know, she's in college now, and she sent me a song from a group called Alabama Shakes. 
I had never heard of them, okay? Uh, but apparently they've been around. So I was like, man, who, who are these Alabama Shakes? So the song she was talking about is called Hold On, and I'm gonna put that in the link. So I listened to it, and holy smokes, that the lead singer of that group can sing. So good, powerful. But it's the idea that she talks about at the very end in her in the video. It's not in the lyrics list, but it's in the video. It's just the idea that the concept is when the world is not treating you well, people are looking at you or are making fun of you or mistreating you, you gotta hold on, okay? So sometimes it's hard to see that happiness. Sometimes it's hard to see clearly, right? Because maybe those clouds are not out of your way yet. Um, you know, maybe you don't have the opportunity to sit down and have a nice barbecue and hang out in Mary's kitchen, okay? And it's hard to hold on, uh, which leads to this last song. I always see these things on Facebook. I was um, this year's old, or this year's old when this when I found this out. So somebody had recommended a song, You've Got a Friend. And you know, I know James Taylor had been singing that, and I was like, oh, it's James Taylor. So I look it up, and I found out just like a couple days ago that that song was written by Carol King. Um, and I didn't know that. So I watched a YouTube video of Carol King singing that song. Uh, she's a great singer. And then I heard her singing it with James Taylor. And how I'm gonna kind of end this is like, it's like a funny thing basically, but uh, James Taylor said that Carol King was nice enough to um, let him do that song. But then he said he didn't realize he'd have to play that song every day for the rest of his life, which is, it's funny. But, so here's why I'm saying these two songs together. If you are experiencing, you know, heartache, you're experiencing trauma, you're experiencing sadness, depression, anxiety, you can't see through the clouds, you, you're not feeling very happy, you can't really connect with people because you're stuck in your house, and you feel like holding on is hard, and I mean like you're just like, just, ugh. You know, that's why that last song comes into B. You know, and um, there's lyrics to this. I'm gonna read a couple from it once I open my, my iPad here. It's, um, it's, I'm gonna read some of them. Sorry, my video is a little one crazy. It says, when you are down and troubled and you need some love and care and nothing, nothing is going right, close your eyes and think of me and soon I will be there to brighten up even your darkest night. You just call out my name and you know wherever I am, I'll come running to see you again. Winter, spring, summer or fall, all you have to do is call and I'll be there. You've got a friend. If the sky above you grows dark and full of clouds and that old north wind begins to blow, keep your head together and call my name out loud. Soon I will, you'll hear me knocking on your door. And I think that's, I feel like I make these videos because I want you to know if you are down, right, and you're having a hard time and you can't see the sunshine or whatever, let me know, you know, and I'll do what I can to help you. Um, I feel like, just like I ended yesterday's video, and we talked about Andre Day's song about Rise Up. I think um, being happy is awesome. And I, you just, you feel so good inside and it makes you, um, you know, it spreads around, right? You know, and that's why we always want to be kind because when you're kind, you help increase that happiness level in people. Uh, just like when Miss Wagner sent me that picture, I was like, oh man, I feel so good today. Um, you know, and my daughter just randomly will come up to me and she'll say, I love you. I'm like, oh, that makes me feel amazing too. So I just want you to know that um, good days are coming. Okay, things are gonna be okay. All right, so I'm just letting you know that. And um, next week when we do our um, music series, when we continue, I'm gonna go take a little step back in time, as Huey Lewis would say, back in time, uh, to hit the 1980s genre on Monday, because that is my jam. I love the 1980s. Um, but until our next check-in, okay, I just want you to say have an amazing weekend. Enjoy this beautiful weather. And uh, I'm looking forward to the opportunity where I can jam some music outside. And if you have a way to contact me and you have some uplifting music you wanna share, uh, you can either share it in the comments or you can share it with me. I just, um, 
let's just have fun this summer and learn some new music. So I'll put those other links below. And I know this was kind of a long video and it was kind of random. So thanks Mrs. Fiore for some of the suggestions. Um, I can't remember who suggested you have a friend or you got a friend. Uh, so I, I apologize for that. Um, but uh, I want to thank um, Danny for suggesting Alabama Shakes. Uh, I'm definitely going to start listening to them. I really like that song. So until our next check-in, have an amazing weekend. Peace out, people.